to live back in a bit, meditate, I think I should. No, we ain't friends, got me on. What's going on, guys? It's Bryce from Fitzworks, and I'm back with another video update on Logic. We got some new stuff coming out. I know College Park only came out like a month ago, but we got some new stuff coming. Sooner than soon, it seems. You know, we got a new beat tape here. We got Half Breed, the collaboration on with C. Cash. We've got a single and a music video for that that should be dropping soon. We got a College Park throwaway that he just released for free. We got covers of new songs, so we're going to get right into that. So if any of that interests you, you know what's coming next for Logic. Make sure you stick in because I got this scoop. So we're going to let you guys know right now. So first of all, you know, Logic had that Good Day cover of Ice Cube that, you know, sparked quite the controversy for literally whatever reason, you know, whatever. My tweet even was getting used within the controversy about it, but hey, hey, it's whatever. I, I don't really care. I'm here to talk about the new cover, the weed song from Bone Thugs and Harmony, which, hey, I was kind of messing with this, and I'm gonna link all this stuff down in the description, so don't worry about that, but this one was interesting to me, but I'm bringing this up because Logic said he might actually do a covers album of old school music. You know, it's funny you should say that. I don't know why I keep going in the closet. I'm in the closet right now. Anyway, um, it's funny that you should say that because I thought about doing that. Wouldn't that be cool? Everybody's all pissed off at me because I did fucking Ice Cube cover. Meanwhile, I fucking texted Ice Cube and he's like, man, keep doing you, brother. Like, what the who gives a fuck? Who gives a fuck? But you know what would be great? Is if you're right, I should do a whole fucking album and just do a whole album of fucking hard ass 90s records and call it Logic Greatest Hits and get all them paid and get them publishing and take care of all the legends and the goats and the greats from the 90s and fucking do a covers album. Who gives a fuck? What? So I don't really know how I feel about that personally. I'm, I'm not saying he shouldn't do that. He can't do what he wants. I'm just saying the music I want from him personally, I don't know if that's the direction. I personally want him to go, but guess what? He's Logic, he's him, and it doesn't matter what the fuck I think or anyone thinks except for him. So I just want to make that clear, but that is my honest opinion on that. Next, you know, we got another little TikTok here from this little TikTok session he was going where he said he might release some old, old music before the Basement Volume 1. We know we were supposed to get some 2006 demo tapes. He announced that about a year ago at this point, but, you know, he's doubling down on that, so we can look forward to that. I just want to say, you said, Logic, release your underground shit on Spotify. I'm tired of YouTube. I can't do that. I legally cannot do that. If I were to take all the old, uh, you know, songs that I have of me um, rapping on Biggie beats and Nas beats and Jay-Z beats, it would just get flagged and ripped off and I would get sued. But I can release them for free and put them out on YouTube. Or I could just not do that. <laughs> but I'd like to take this time to make an announcement. What you gotta say, Queen? You wanna know what I gotta say? I'm gonna tell you. Logic be like, um, I'm actually gonna start a series where I drop, um, I drop all my old music. Not all of it, but a lot, a lot, like, you know, like a nice little amount. It's gonna be called Before the Basement, and it's gonna consist of all the demos that I made uh, from 15 to about 18 years old. So about three years. It's called Before the Basement Volume 1. I am going to give you guys the files. I'm just going to tweet it out. I'm going to some shit. I'll just give it to you like on Dropbox or something. Logic's independent. I don't give a fuck. I'm going to do whatever I want. I'm just dropping songs. I'm dropping this. I'm doing that. I'm giving away tickets. I'm going on tour. I'm loving my wife and my baby and all my fucking family and all my fans. I'm having fun, man. I really mean it. I mean it. I'm having a blast. And I'm doing shit from here, man. And I didn't do shit from here like I did. But like now it's even more like, what are you afraid of, man? Just be yourself. Are you scared? They're going to in the comments. They're going to clown you They because you cut your hair like that. And you got crazy. Who gives a fuck, man? Be yourself, bro. Be yourself, bro. Be yourself. Be yourself. If nobody told you today, I love you. And you're awesome. And here's some positive words of affirmation. Stay positive. Keep being great. Love yourself. Um, focus on family. And if you don't have any make some family isn't bound by blood you can meet a best friend at starbucks or selling weed and i'm here to tell you that i'm just dropping music like crazy baby i don't give a fuck life is short i love you guys peace love and positivity this college park tour is gonna be fucking crazy i'm not even it's gonna be dope this ain't an ad this ain't an ad you know what i mean it's not, i'm not trying to sell anything you know i'm just trying i'm not trying to sell anything you know what i mean you know, I just, you know what I mean? Like, 
You thought it was for you? You thought it was for you? So that's gonna be fire, you know, I always love hearing that gritty, hungry logic, you know what I'm saying? Especially, you know, since he's independent, you can just kind of release what he wants, and it seems that that is what he has been doing. And we got a new beat tape here, Loop in the Second, you know, this is interesting, a sequel to Loop in the First. I thought that was pretty cool, and there's some pretty good instrumentals on here. One of these instrumentals you're hearing in the background of this video literally right now. So I would definitely check that out. You know, Logic always delivers on the beat tapes, the Peanuts alias, you know, that shit go crazy. So definitely, definitely check that out. It's out on all streaming services, so you can get that literally anywhere you can find music. And Logic dropped the final animated excerpt from College Park. And this one was the market skit from Paradise 2 at the end of the album version of the song. And you know, it's all animated and there's a new song at the end that was originally on College Park that got taken off. He just lets it play out fully. It's featuring Big Lembo, C. Castro, and has some spoken word from Juicy J as it is a remix of Slob on my knob by Juicy J, 3 Sig Mafia. So, fuck with that. Fuck with that, it's hard. I'm gonna link it down in the description. I'm not gonna play any of it in here, but I'm gonna link it down there. So make sure you check that out. Logic was also on the show Made From Scratch on Fuse TV, where, you know, he kinda, this was recorded before College Park came out, but he kinda hinted at his next album, sounding like a fusion of Tame Impala and Jay Dilla, which, you know, I think at least for him in his mind, that next project was gonna be Rooster. We'll get into what his next project will be towards the end of this video and this next thing I wanna cover, but I feel like Rooster could be that. It could be that mix of Tame Impala, Dilly, you know, that kind of converging of genres. I could definitely see that, especially since, A, on Loop in the Second, this new beat tape I was just talking about, there's a song called Slow Down Dilla Version, which is literally Tame Impala meets Jay Dilla. So I think that maybe was foreshadowing. Maybe some of this was foreshadowing the album to come, music to come. So keep that in mind but you know this last thing i want to cover here the big thing i want to cover here is this new project half breed which is the collaboration album which is also the group name it's a self-titled collaboration album but it's the group name of logic and c. castro's duo rap duo group called half breed obviously because they're both half breeds haha <laughs> by racial joke logic ha, it's 2023 jesus fucking christ but i'm bringing this up because you know we did get a little bit of a snippet you know i covered in the last video so i'm not going to go over that but a hey, the Vroom Vroom snippet we've been going over looks like it's probably on Half Breed as we have a Castro verse that has been previewed along with plenty <laughs> of uh, behind the scenes music video shoots courtesy of one of Logic's brothers. Now, shout out to him for this. <laughs> I, I don't know if Logic knows he's posting all this shit everywhere, but uh, it's public domain. I am reporting on it and it's dope. We got some snippets and stuff we're going to go over. So I'm going to play that Vroom Vroom snippet with Castro's verse right now. So post edit, post upload, post Literally do everything, Bryce, here, A. Had to update the video, though, because as you can see here, A. This is a bombshell. This is a bombshell for the video here. Half Breed. It's coming. Game 6 is the snippet that he played in the Half Breed video on his YouTube channel that'll be linked down below. If you don't know what I'm talking about, Vroom Vroom is the snippet we've been talking about this whole time. And, you know, my snippet even got blocked in this video, so that's in replace of the snippet right here in the video. But I'll have a link to that in the description. But, A. They're Shazamable. This is the cover art to Half Breed. Shout out to Flex Execution over on Twitter for clutching up, you know, figuring this shit out. This shit's crazy. You know what I'm saying? I just, this is mom show. So this is going to be huge. You know, I got to re-edit my thumbnail and everything now. Hey, but we going to do it. This could be coming soon. I don't know about this Friday. I don't know. Hey, it could be soon. I don't know. I literally don't know. If there's an update, if it comes out, I will have a video. So do not worry, but it could be coming soon. So that shit sounds hard. I mean, it's obvious they're shooting a music video. As here, Logic's brother even confirms that it's a music video show. It's it's the Vroom Vroom music video shirt. It is it is coming soon. You know, his family was there. His two brothers, the twins, twin brothers were there, and his father was there. A and his father was kind of fitted up, as you can see here, with what appears to be College Park shoes, Logic themed College Park shoes. Now these are the Under Armour Slip Speeds that Logic is partnered with, so I could definitely see this dropping probably on tour. If these are on tour, I will be buying some for sure, because these are fire. I need to get me my hands on them for sure. And also, Logic Preview, this picture of the jersey, you get the front and back here, picture of him and his dad. So that's pretty dope. I'm fucking with that. The merch gonna go crazy on this tour. And you know, it seems that Vroom Vroom is gonna be maybe the lead single, maybe it'll just drop all at once to half breed. I'm not sure if Logic's end up dropping Half Breed before tour. I mean, C. Castro's opening on the tour, it could make sense to actually get Castro to get some music out because since Castro toured on the Vinylverse, or since Castro opened on the Vinylverse tour, 
He hasn't dropped any music, I don't think. I would love to see that. Castro needs to get up that little catalog before tour. And my main theory was that Nine was gonna drop before tour. I don't really think that's gonna happen anymore. I think if anything, Logic will focus on Half Breed and kind of get that out as like a little project right before tour. I could see that. And we still got Juicy J's album coming produced by Logic Here, He said it's coming after his mixtape, which coming is coming very soon. So I think we could maybe anticipate that before tour. I don't know, tour starts in like two months. So I'm not really sure what's gonna happen here. Regardless, I think Half Breed is next for Logic. Rooster will not happen until after tour. I'm almost positive of that. And we got the Juicy J shit to look forward to. Of course, Juicy J's on tour as well with Logic. So there's a lot of shit that could go on, but that's about all I got for you guys today. I just kind of sit here and talk to you guys about, you know, all the news and stuff. I'm gonna always keep you guys in the loop, always keep you guys updated. But what do you think Logic's planning next? To me, looks like Half Breed. Looks like Half Breed's coming next. Then tour, then maybe that Juicy produced album, then Rooster, I don't know. But regardless, it's still Logic season. Logic just released his debut independent album, and it's still Logic season. Imagine that. But hey, that's about all I got for you guys today. If you enjoy watching, make sure you subscribe to the bell so you don't miss any videos, any updates, anything like that. Go in the description. Follow my TikTok, my Spotify, my Twitter, my Instagram. Get that Discord down there too. Join my Discord. I'm in there all the time hanging with you guys. Get that new music Friday playlist so you never miss out on new music. Literally ever updated weekly playlist. And yeah, this has been Bryce. Peace. Can I pitch a little Bobby just a younger run around with his man's hammer in his hand, feeling like a man? The illest to ever do it. Run for the pole, pole, get the